Oh my goodness, look at that, guys. It is smoking. What's up, everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hop Farm. As you can see, we're back in front of the chicken coop. Time to do some work in this chicken composting system. Let's go. First, we're gonna take all the material that's in there and pull it out, put it in the second, in the second section, in bay number two. We are also going to show you the thermometers that we installed so we can check the temperature. We're also going to show you how we installed the dust bath on the inside. And to top it all off, we're going to fill this thing back up with a lot more leaves. So let's get to it. We've got a good amount of work in front of us. First, I'm just going to clear this area out of first of the big leaves. probably see it up there. I've got uh, one of the thermometers, the outside some thermometers sitting up there. Just a basic thermometer. We'll see how well they work. It was $4 at Walmart for two of them. If they don't work, I'm only out four bucks and I'll get something nicer. But I'll see if $4 will work first. And the idea with the thermometers is I have one inside also I'll show you. I'll show you real quick. I did place it in the wrong spot at first so hopefully I didn't break it. I did place it right here on this screw. Um, but the new chicks have been roosting on this roost and this bar here and they knocked it off, knocked it into here, uh, messed and I had to switch it. Now it's on the other side. No one roosts on this post over here. We'll check it at night and then we'll check the one. I don't know if you could see it. I'll show you. We'll check the one that's up here. And we'll see what the difference is. I am not expecting much of a difference in the next few days simply because we're taking the heat source out right now the waste material that we're going to be putting in here after we take everything out it's going to take a few days for it to build back up to build the heat back up so we've got this whole section right here about three foot by shoot eight foot section seven foot section something like that that we can uh Stack compost up in there right there, and I'm sure the chickens will love it. They'll jump on top of it and scratch it up and everything Let's do it. Let's get it out And any of the big stuff is, uh, I'm sure some of that stuff is still gonna be in here some of the broccoli and, and the pumpkin So we're gonna put it in a little bin that I have sitting over here Ugh. And we'll put that bigger stuff back in here so we can throw it back in the new pile that we make Instance like this, there's still a pretty big broccoli stock right here that hasn't been completely composted down yet, so we'll put it in the bin. Chickens are really picking through this right now, let me show you why. A lot of the sprout. The grains, the scratch grains, hope y'all can see that there. A lot of the scratch grains here, it's starting to sprout. And they're going through, tearing it up. So this is a good staging area for them to go through. This is where they'll, they'll really pick it apart and start going through that sprouted grain. And also the corn is starting to ferment. Any whole pieces of corn are starting to sprout. Usually when all the chickens go running and looking for cover like that, something coming in to get them. I didn't see anything though. But the good thing was Big Blue 
our rooster, he was the only one left out there surveying the area, making sure everything was kosher. Good job, Big Blue. I see you back there, boy. I know I got a different color shirt on because it's a different day. We had a little technical dif difficulties there on uh, on the camera. We lost a lot of footage, so I got to pick back up and tell you what we did. First, let me drop in there the footage of me making the dust bath for them. All right. So instead of retrofitting one of these so the diatomaceous earth doesn't fall out, it's gonna be a little loud in here. The girls are in here making noises. I went to Dollar Tree for four dollars and I bought two of these four dollars a piece and I think that's a lot easier than trying to make something like that work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those stick them in that corner over there so it's not under a roost so they're not pooping in it or anything it's kind of out of the way and I'm gonna make their dust bath over there with those two containers and with the diatenaceous earth. The DE. Someone's already over there exploring. I want to jump in there. What are you doing, girl? I'm about to fill it up for you. You're about to get some DE in there. Curious what's going on, huh? Making you a dust bath. Let's finish it. Woo! Let's get out of here. Shouldn't be breathing that in. <coughs> You know, let that air out just a second. Make sure we got enough in there for him. Yeah, you really shouldn't be breathing that microscopic particle of the diatomaceous earth in. Not real good for your lungs. So let's 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 brave it back in there. I can uh, I can hold my breath for a couple minutes. Let's see if I can hold my breath for a couple minutes and talk at the same time. Now that's going to be a rough one. So let's go in there, see how deep it is, see if we need to add more. Ready? Let's go. It's smoky in here. It looks smoky in here. So, oh yeah, we're good uh, two, three inches deep. The girls can get in there now and do what they need to do. I'll leave you all alone. There you go, that's how I did the dust bath in there. Someone has suggested I should put some sand or some uh, some dirt in with the DE. Uh, I've never done a da dust bath like that before. I've always just let them do it naturally. I've never had a static coop like this. Um, I usually use ch chicken tractors and whenever I pull it to a different spot, they would make their own dust bath in that area. But with me actually keeping it wet like this, I've never had to give them a dust bath as I did in there. So if I should add something else to it, please go down in the comments and let me know. Uh, let me know what you do um, if for a dust bath with yours. Is it just diatenaceous earth? Is it a mixture of different stuff? And if there's a good reason not to use just diatenaceous earth, just is it a cost-effective thing? Is it not good for them? Is it, you know, different things? I know we can't inhale 
the DE. Because oh, it's not good for our lungs. I mean, is it? Oh, I would assume. I've seen their lungs. They're just as fragile as ours. I would assume the same thing for them. Let's get back to what we did after we scooped this out. Let's show you what this compost looks like. This is the stuff we pulled out. I pulled out on Wednesday. Today is Friday. So it's been sitting here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. About a do it. Almost two days. Solid. It's during the day when they're out, these girls will come and they will kick it over to here. So in the morning when I come in, I'll grab that pitchfork and I'll come through and I'll just throw it back up there. Throw it back up there. So this is how we reset it. First we, we put a big old layer of leaves on the bottom. We put in the old scraps that we pulled out and we went and got some more scraps from the pigs actually. The pigs won't eat, didn't eat the outer layer of a lot of pumpkins. So I grabbed a bunch of them, threw, threw them in here, let them start to decompose. Um, we also had some table scraps we threw in here and we watered it. So now what we want to do is we want to add more leaves into this system. So we've got a nice base layer. And what I've noticed when I pulled this out, when I pulled this pile out, that the very bottom part of it wasn't completely wet and wasn't broken down as much as some of the other stuff. So I think we may need to leave the bottom part longer. So the stuff on the top that we'll keep piling up and keep piling up, keep piling up, there's probably at least four to six inches of material that's not breaking down as fast as that pile. So we're going to learn from that. And next time when we pull stuff out of here, it's not going to be that complete bottom layer. Maybe that we pull that complete bottom layer out every other time, every third time. I don't know. We'll see. But right now, this for this go around, we're going to build a compost pile on top of the bedding instead of using the bedding also as the compost pile. So we'll need to pull their, their night water out so we can get the wheelbarrow in here. So let's go up this hill and let's pick apart that pile up there. I don't want to forget you. I think what we're going to do is go down backwards. I think if I go down forward, look, if I got it on front, this wheelbarrow is just going to tip and everything inside of it is going to fall out. But I think if I walk it backwards, the wheelbarrow can stay pretty much level. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. But I'm walking backwards down this hill right now and it seems to be working pretty well. Oh yeah, that worked. We have it good and full. Let's go check out what we did. We need to move it around just a little bit. We'll grab some of these hanging out on the outside. Throw them in. And we got a nice looking pile in here now. It's sitting at least so uh, we can include the bedding. Three and a half foot tall. At least so plenty big enough to heat up as far as width it's eight foot wide ish update on the thermometer situation we have a slight problem the first night after I put it up here I guess the chickens were in here having a little rural rumble or something and this thermometer was on the ground and there is no more um, what's, what's the thing that in the middle? Someone help me out here. Leave that in the comments. I can't think. I don't remember. It's gone. I don't know where it is. I'm gonna have to find it. In here amongst the leaves. Yeah, good luck, right? So we're gonna have to try something else out for the inside of the coop. Or just hang it in a different spot. Maybe say 
up there or something to where the chickens can't get to it, right? That would be smart. We got the chicken coop full. We're gonna let this sit for a few days and we'll pile it back up. Let it sit for a few days, pile it back up. We'll do that for a week to two weeks until I feel like I need to pull this stuff out. And then it'll come over here in this bay. Now this girl's working. Stuff's looking good too. I want to show you something real quick on this compost pile, on this compost. It's heating up still. A little momento, por favor. Mucho gracias. Let's open this up. Oh my goodness, look at that, guys. It is smoking. Definitely still cooking. That's good. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be awesome, guys. You know how much compost I'm not gonna have to buy in 2020? Woo! I'm excited. So thank you guys for watching this third edition of the chicken compost system. If you enjoyed it, please smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you want to watch the first couple videos, I'll be popping them in here, here, and enjoy yourself. See you later.